So SAP installations. So SAP installations can be done using SWPM tool. So this tool, we have to start it here. So this is the tool for installations, uninstallations, rename. So if you want to install the one more additional application server, SAP application server, SWPM is the tool, we can use it. Okay. So this is the one of the installation tool. Any product, we have to use the SWPM tool. Inside of the tool, there is a SAP INST file. You need to click on that file here. All right. So just to go to the uh, folders. So here in the F drive, you see there is a SAP software in the SF drive. Here you can see SAP, SWPM. So host agent, kernel. So exports, we have the exports, all the files are there here, right? So then first file is the SWPM tool. Here we need to start with the SAP INST. So this is the file we need to start. So we need to click it. It is a Windows, right? Double click it, it will start it here. This is the application, it will start. So it will open the URL in the browser. So this SWPM tool, it will open the URL in browser. Browser. So the port number, very important point is the port number is the 4237. Port number is the 4237 is the port number here. 4237 is the port number here. In this port number, so the, your tool will be opened. It will open the link in the URL. In case, if it is opening in your browser, is like a maybe in the yeah. IE or something, just to make into the your uh, Google Chrome. Just to make that is in the Google Chrome here. Just make that in the Google Chrome so that so that will be open in the Chrome. So like this, it will open the one link the URL in the link here. Right. So then as soon as it will open or sometimes what will happen if you don't have the administrator access, then so it will ask the user ID and the password. Then you can select the administrator, the password, which I shared in the group. You can open it here. You can see the port number. This is the port number here, right? So just here, just click the enter the administrator. Right? Just you can just go with the password, right? So then it will open the SWPM screen. SWPM screen will be opened here. Sometimes what will happen if the other person already opened? In case of if the other person already opened, then again you are opening multiple times. It will ask the user ID password, user ID password. Then you will get the this prompt like so not authorized. Why? Because at a time only one person can be use the SWPM tool. So in this case, what we have to do, we need to coordinate each other. Whenever, suppose if I'm starting the SWPM tool, I'm doing the installation, then I will update in the group, I'm doing the installation something, right? So then, so once you have done the inputs and everything, so you need to, you don't need to perform the, all the things here, just, just, so, <clears throat> yeah, port number is same. Just to go to the installations you are doing, you are giving the application server above, standard system installation. So standard system here. So if, if you select, if you are installing on the, on top of the DB2, if you are installing the Oracle, MaxDB, anything, the same procedure here. You need to select the respect to database and respect to database installations, respect to database and installation, respect to database and installation, we need to choose it here, right? So that is the common procedure for all, anything, right? So here we are doing on, initially we are doing on SQL server, just SQL server, anything, data, anything, same procedure here, installations, then application server above, so right? So then application server above, then standard system. So then, so just click on the standard system here, just click on the, standard system here just click on the standard system click on the okay button here so it will open the next screen
yeah sorry guys here we can choose the new option continue to the new option here just click on the new here so that it will take the new options new options old options means someone already maybe tried the locks will be the same so you just you can always take the new option so that you will get the starting of the screen onwards starting of the screen onwards you will get the all the inputs and everything you will get it out here right so this is the page this is the swpm screen this is the swpm screen here <coughs> we have to provide the inputs here we have to provide the inputs inputs means so here <coughs> the remaining software swpm tool will ask the please provide the kernel files please provide the export directory please provide the host agent please provide the so host agent sap host agent please provide the db db client software location all those things it will ask you to so here that is the reason in the as part of the preparation activities <clears throat> we need to download the as part of the preparation activities we have to download the all the softwares and keep it ready in the folders or sir we can also download now right yeah whenever the screen asks we can download it maybe it may be take time so that's why all the softwares in advance we need to download it we have to keep it to the one folder here we have to keep it to the one folder here we have to keep into the one folder here so that so whenever it is asking we can give the that location path we can give it here so we can give the that location here so now we can see here so in the same screen swpm screen so you can go to the task list right the task list what is happening it is collecting the inputs means it will ask the inputs now then once it is go to the then review parameter section then execute service then service completed so like that sequence of activities will be performed here so only in this phase define parameter section we need to provide the sid passwords all the information we have to provide it that's it so remaining phases system will take care of that one here you no need to do anything here only giving the user inputs to swpm so is the very important here so here if you go to the logs here there are some log files here you can see the log files here here coming to the log files here coming to the log files here here we need to refer the sap inst dot log file then sap inst underscore dev dot log file these two log files are very important here to check the installation log files and also it's one of the frequent asked question this is the one what are the installation log files you will refer when there is a issue right sap inst dot log file here it is the most important log file you can see it here sap inst dot log file here so here you can see so here each and every step each and every step will be updated in this log file here so what's happening what is the thing so all the information will be updated here all the all the log files means each, each step related information will be updated here so now it is asking the typical or custom here so we can choose anything so choose the default option typical typical means you will get the default settings then so and so less prompts less screen prompts you will get custom mode means you will get the all the screen all those things you have to many many screens you will get many prompts you will get it out so it may take time so bear go with the so typical mode or custom mode but same procedure here right just click on the default option click on the next button here right so when you open the next button the next thing it will ask the so another so it will just process and it will ask the kernel directory then next screen it will ask the one by one one by one it will ask the all the inputs one by one one by one it will ask the all the inputs here so we can see it here what's happening in the system if you open the log file in the log file so it is it will see the so okay in the f drive software it is signed then it is going to the next step so like this the logs will be updated here here the logs will be updated in each and every step here
network network restore the service using most cpus <clears throat> so any sap same procedure any sap product installation swpm tool starting the swpm tool same procedure so just to provide the sid instance number all the details we have to fill it here so then so software's locations and everything it will ask it then we have to provide the all the details next screen next screen like that so we have to provide the all the details here same procedure everywhere in the real time or every time whenever you you got the chance to install the sap system first you need to check the whether operating system is available or not so team will take care of the so operating system installations drive space everything so what you need to do as a from your side you need to download the all the softwares and keep it ready same as like here how we have downloaded you need to keep it ready all the softwares once you've done it then so we can start the swpm tool then so you can just start the giving the inputs and everything here so real time uh, sometimes we may not get the chance to work on the installation after the installation whatever we do so that is the actual work installation rarely we will get the chance only rarely rare cases we will get the chances here sometimes you won't get also here but so without installation we cannot discuss the remaining to administration topics right so that's why as a first we are discussing about the the critical part means confusing topic it is installation topic we are discussing then remaining topics are very simple actually so after the installation what we have to do and what are the administration activities those are the very important basis administration activities are the very important so installation no one asks only thing they will ask you the questions on so what is the port number of the sap swpm what are the softwares you required then what are the log files you will require three four questions they may ask you on the installation side so log files means you can refer this one installations means as wpm tool and remaining softwares are this one port number is this one that's it if you know this questions answers then we knew, so we can so we are good with the installation part why because each and every step no one can remember right so it's not it's not required just you can say if anyone asks what happens during the installation time during the installation time as wpm tool will ask the uh, location of the all the softwares in which location you have downloaded the softwares and where where you placed it so we have to provide the all the softwares locations and everything then once you've done it once you provide the all the inputs then the next step is so system will take care of the installation it will take to four to five hours to do the installation once the complete installation is done then once the installation is done then system is ready then we can carry out the other activities now you can see so sap system sid here so sap system sid here so here system sid we have to provide it here suppose you are installing so normally the recommended naming convention is based upon the product suppose you are installing the sap netweaver system then netweaver development netweaver quality system netweaver production netweaver regression if you are installing the crm system then cc d c crm development then ccq ccd r c r d something like that you can do it if you are installing the ecc then simply naming convention purpose ecd then ecq ecp we can put it out here simple naming convention here right so if you are installing the bw then bwd bwq so tomorrow someone so someone who don't know about these products simply he can see he can see the sid then he can simply say oh this is the bw development right yes this is the bw development okay this is the quality system right yes bw quality system 
like that easily remembering purpose we can put the product name and the usage environment type is a development or quality or production we can give it here right so now so we are giving the netweaver right small package installation netweaver so then later ecc so netweaver right so netweaver then we can see netweaver development it's already one system already installed means otherwise we can do the nd1 netweaver development one maybe netweaver development two something like that we can install it we can install it here right so like that whatever the sid uh, as the, in the real time so your managers are so the customer will give you the sids what is the good naming convention we have to maintain so that naming convention they will suggest you but now so we have to choose the our own naming convention we have to choose it here now you can see if you open the here so yeah next screen we got it here here it is asking the dns name so normally we don't have any dns just uncheck it out it's not required is it just to not mandatory option dns name means normally google.com facebook.com so dot coms right google.com those are the dns names so those dns we don't have then you just we can uncheck it out here in the real time also we can uncheck it out why because we are not exposing in the public level so that's why just you can uncheck it out that box you go to sap hns day so here you can see the execute ask the master passwords right passwords so here it is asking the logs as per the logs only system will lag so now it is asking the password set the password why because after the installation is completed we need to log into the sap systems right so that's why password for all users then we set the password click on the next button set the password click on the next button here So here, uh, go to SAP NST. So you can see it here, what's happening in the back end. So SAP star password. And then, so here, there are the two users are getting created. So there are the two users, I will tell you. So whenever the installation is running now, what are the passwords? What, what are the users here? What are the users are going to create it here? So whenever the installation is happening, after the installation, they are the users will be created so os level users then sap level also users then db level also users will be created here so os users so operating system level we have the sid adm user then sap services as sid user will be created these two are the os level users operating system level if you want to perform the administration level activities we can use this users here now you can set the passwords for those users here. You can set the passwords for those users here. It is asking the SID ADM user, SAP services SID here, right? So, so then SAP level, there is a SAP star and DDIC users are getting created here. SAP star, DDIC, DB7, DB, SID ADM users. They are the three layers three set of users are getting created in the each environment while installation is running here. So this is the log files. If you click on the refresh button, always this log files will be updated here. If you open, see here, so you given the wrong password, you given the wrong password for the other. So SID ADM user here, ND1 ADM. So let me set, means I given the wrong password. So let me go to, let me correct the passwords.
Done passwords. What is the password? Let me see the password. Okay. Let's click on the next button. So here we can observe it. As I mentioned, always scpinst.log file is the very important here. So it will give the clear picture here. So all the information. So means what's happening in the system. All the all the information will be available in this log file here. Whether the something goes wrong, error messages, installation is fails. So sometimes installation will fail because of the wrong passwords or sometimes softwares may be corrupted. The downloaded softwares, whatever we have, that may be corrupted sometimes, right? So that may be corrupted here. So let me. Now it is checking the DB connectivities here. Now it will ask the DB, given the DB server database related things, all the things it will ask it now. Checking the connection to the so database here, checking the connection properties for the database here. Here in this case, we need to choose the, what is the database server, DB server here, all right? So DB server details, we have to choose it. <coughs> right so database instance so db connection here so this is our database connection is this is the one sap windows 2 in the by because in the same host name we have installed the database name so sap windows 2 here so so just click on the next button here so it will check the connection to the database if it is okay then it will go to the next step here otherwise it will fail it says that we are not able to connect to the database something like that you will get the error messages here right so db db client it will take it out then next one is the kernel it will ask then exports host agent so all the details it will ask now one by one one by one so just only one thing what we have to do during the installation only it's a very simple actually starting the swpm tool once done just click on the next what is our asking give the input click on the next what is asking the input here so same use the dbsid is the same as the sap sid right just click on the next button here yeah so before that we need to install the database as well SQL <laughs> Power database, right so it's already installed so whenever we have the ana db time that time definitely you will get the hands-on very hands-on on how to installation of the databases, ANA databases, how to upgrade, how to set it out. So all those things you will get the experience within the HANA DB topic time. Yeah, that is yeah, that is our wish. We have can provide the same SAD or different SAD. That's our wish. So if you want to give the different SAD for the database. So we can provide it. If you want, if you don't want to give the different SID, same SID, we can choose it. That is the our wish. So based on our wish here. Now, next thing it is asking the see here, it is asking specify the path of the RK media location. It is asking. So these are the kernel files. Kernel files it is asking. So we can just browse it. Browse it, F drive. So where the kernel files? Yeah, SAP softwares. Mm, kernel. Yeah, this is the kernel, I think. Select the kernel, click on the OK button. So, right, just click on the next button here. So, now what will happen? It will read whatever the folder you selected. So, it will read that folder. It will read that folder here, whether you have correctly chosen that folder or not. See here, F drive, softwares, kernel. In that kernel folder, you have the some files, kernel files, which you downloaded, right? So those files, it is okay. reading, it is extracting, it will sign it. Something, this corruption, any file corruption is happened, then your installation may be, means it will not take it further.
ఓఎస్ ఇన్స్టాలేషన్ ఓఎస్ టీమ్ ఆపరేటింగ్ సిస్టమ్ విల్ టేక్ కేర్ ఆఫ్ దట్ వన్ డేటాబేస్ ఇన్స్టాలేషన్ సమ్ కంపెనీస్ డిబి టీమ్ విల్ టేక్ కేర్ ఆఫ్ దట్ వన్ ఇఫ్ ఇట్ ఇస్ ద అనా డేటాబేస్ ఎస్ఐపి బేసిస్ టీమ్ హ్యాస్ టు టేక్ కేర్ ఆఫ్ ద డేటాబేస్ ఇన్స్టాలేషన్ యాజ్ వెల్ అదర్ దాన్ అనా డేటాబేస్ ఎనీ అదర్ డేటాబేసెస్ రెస్పెక్ట్ టు డిబి టీమ్ ఈజ్ అవైలబుల్ దే విల్ టేక్ కేర్ ఆఫ్ ద డేటాబేస్ ఆపరేటింగ్ సిస్టమ్ టేక్ కేర్ ఆఫ్ ద ఆపరేటింగ్ సిస్టమ్ టీమ్ సో రెస్పెక్టివ్ టీమ్స్ ఆర్ దే వీ ఆర్ నాట్ ఓన్లీ వన్ పర్సన్ రైట్ ఇన్ ద మార్కెట్ వీ హీ వీ వీ హ్యావ్ ద మార్క్ సో ఆ ఓఎస్ టీమ్ నెట్వర్క్ టీమ్ మెనీ పీపుల్ ఆర్ దే సో దే విల్ టేక్ కేర్ ఆఫ్ ద దేర్ రెస్పెక్టివ్ యాక్టివిటీస్ okay so sap inst so it's you really see here it is reading all the files whatever the files we have so it is reading the sap exe it is reading all the files all the files it is getting read it will extract it also it will check inside of the files everything is correct or not so then only it will accept it otherwise it will failed it will failed it it will say like your kernel files are so wrong mismatch all those things it will give the error in information here so that's why each and every verification time it will take some time while validating the softwares so it will take some time here see here it is taking the some time always the log files which and every minute seconds so this will be updated the log files so if you open this one so all the all the information will be updated here in this case here how much time it is taking giving the inputs only it will take the so one hour exactly one hour it will take the user inputs given after that the after that the different parameter section will be completed then it will go to the review just to you have to check it out whether you have given the correctly or not then execute service here we don't require to be in, in front of the system why because the tool will take care of the sap system installations and everything tool will take care of the sap system installations and everything so we don't need to worry about that one so that's the way only inputs only we have to give it remaining things system will take care of the things here so but only thing is we need to wait all the all the all the inputs not at a time just one by one one by one we have to give it one by one one by one so we have to give it once the one software verification is done one more software verification once the one is completed another software verification like that so we have to give it one by one here
So instead of typing, you can ask the question in the call so that others also can know. Okay. So we are installing the Netweaver. What is the role of the Netweaver is the same as ECC. So Netweaver is the base component for any SAP product. Any SAP application, Netweaver is the base. So Netweaver, we can install it or ECC, but any type of installations, the common procedure we need to follow. Same procedure here, right? Same procedure here. So what is this, uh, this system's role? What type of means? It's an application. Application you are installing, which means, so application. Application means users will log in, will book the order, sales order, book the tickets, transactions, whatever the application it refers. So that will do the, that functionality here. So ECC is the one of the transactional system. Netweaver is the base for each and every SAP product. CRM is the customer relationship management system. So success factor is the HR related systems, right? So like that, so we have the number of applications are there. So any SAP application product, similar, similar installation, similar configurations, we have to perform it here, right? So, so the installation wise, there is no difference of installing the ECC, Netweaver, anything, or same softwares, same, only exports may change slightly, exports will change. If it is a ECC, ECC exports, Netweaver, Netweaver exports, CRM, CRM, S4ANA, S4ANA exports, like that we have to change it. But remaining all the things are common softwares, we have to take it out here. See here how much time it is taking here. Uh, good morning, uh, am I audible? Yes, yes, you are audible. Good morning. Uh, sir, my query is that uh, I have one system uh, with uh, uh, ECC 6 EHP 7 uh, with Netweaver 7.5 uh, 7 on HANA DB. It's running on HANA DB. So how we are going to EC install ECC 6 uh, EHP 7 as well as along with that uh, your uh, Netweaver 7.5? You have already system, then why you are again installing? No, no, no. I mean, how it was installed, that I want to know. Using the SWPM tool, it was installed. Okay, suppose at, uh, right now we are uh, installing 7.5 Netweaver. Yeah, same way uh, ECC, they have installed it. Same way, same way we have to download the ECC softwares. So then ECC exports, softwares are same. Only ECC, okay. ECC exports, we have to download it. Same way we have to do the installations. Same way, same with way. same SID, same, uh, same instance number. Yeah, 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 SID is same, it's different, your wish. How you want to give the SID? How you no, want... no, like like my production system, that is uh, the install package, what I seen over there on system and system status or install package, is that uh, that uh, the install packages are uh, e e ERP6, uh, ESP7, uh, NetViewer 7.5. That will come automatically when you are installing the ECC system. ECC, some of the NetViewer components, all will come automatically. I don't know ESP6. Yeah, it will come automatically. So it will come automatically. So if you are installing the Netweaver, Netweaver is a small system. You can also install the Netweaver. If you install the ECC, then ECC plus Netweaver also will come. If you are installing the S4ANA, Netweaver plus uh, uh, plus CRM system will come. CRM, CRM. So like that, Netweaver is the common for each and every SAP product. Netweaver system. Okay. SAP Netweaver packages means Netweaver packages are common. So here you can see uh, after main ECC six EHP seven along with ESP seven package. Uh, yeah, uh, by default it's uh, uh, Netweaver seven point five along common. Yes, right. Common. Right. Yeah, oh, right. thank you. Yeah, here can I also I also we need to install it separately. That's the problem. No, 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 not required. Not required. Yeah. So here you can see the softwares we have chosen. It's available. It's taken into the consideration. Then you can just click on the next button. If something wrong, it won't go to the next button. Your next button is a disabled status here. So, so, so then next. So something. Yeah. Please be on mute. Yeah, there are a lot of disturbance.
so it is checking it will search all the all those things then only it will take it next screen so otherwise in middle it will fail if the giving the inputs perfectly we have given then installation will be success some files are got corrupted then installation may be fail. in this step itself it will show like kernel files got corrupted so something like that it will give the information yeah so here it is asking the host agent host agent so here if the host agent is not there so if it is it will ask the host agent version so please provide the host agent file right so kernel we have given swpm tool db location we have chosen then host agent it is asking the next screen it will ask the please provide the path for the exports now it is asking the host agent host agent here now just to go to the so in the f drive f drive so sap softwares here f drive sap softwares here and sap softwares so you can see host agent right host agent select it just click on the ok button here So each and every file it will read. See here, inside of the, we selected only file, but it is reading the, it is just extracting and it is reading all the files here. In the inside of the host agent F drive, the host agent file we have chosen. See here, it is extracting the file and it is reading. automatically yeah so swpm will take care of the extraction you no need to worry about that one tool will take care of all those things Okay, so a file is available, it will come the status like available, then only the next button will be highlighted, otherwise it will be disabled to status here. So next button. It will take another 15 to 20 minutes. So let's see. So now see, it is asking the installation exports. Installation exports here so then go to the the exports whatever wherever we have the exports right so in the same f drive that's why we need to all 
on one folder if you download it it's a very simple to navigate it all the exports it's a very simple to navigate the all the files and everything here select that export folder click on ok button so then it will take it next next screen here see here so it is taking care of the f drive softwares exports data then exp1 signed and accepted so it will sign it each and every software it will sign it it will verify it so then then only it will take it further here so it is taking care mainly uh, what you need to remember is during the technical discussion or interview point of time main important things are installation log files what are the softwares you use what is the port number so uh, how much time it will take the game the inputs you can say roughly one hour one hour to one and a half hour then after that how much time it will take the sap installation tool itself you don't need to do anything here, once the defined parameter section is completed, then it will go to that review parameter section. Then, once you click on it, you execute service. Then, in this section, these are the roadmap steps actually. In this roadmap step, what will happen? System will take care of the installation. It will show the results like 20%, 30%, 40%, 50% completed. Something like that, it will show the results. Then, once the 100% is completed, your SAP installation is successfully completed. You can say 6 to 7 hours taken for the SAP installation. Inputs is the 1 hour, 1 and a half hour. So, like that, you need to inform if anyone asking you. But because same procedure. refresh yeah keep on refreshing but still verifying on the packages installations yeah one more important thing is here so if someone maybe someone if you, they go deeply they may ask you so for netweaver how many exports ecc how many exports yes corona how many exports sometimes they may ask you so export files export files here so netweaver three export files ecc 11 export files so yes corona so 30 export files here 30 export files here so that is only one difference kernel files host agent db db yeah, all are same these all are the same only exports for ecc how many exports if they go little bit deep so then that time we have to tell like this one why because they will concentrate only on the ecc 
and net viewer stacks so so not all the not all, not all the products here only ecc they may concentrate so you need to so check 11 export files net viewer three export files in case if they ask you s4 on a system then we have the so so 30 export files are there in the S4 HANA systems here. Yeah. Here is total three exports. In this one, export one signed, accepted and verified successfully. Export exp3 signed accepted, then it will sign it. Then export something like that, it will scan it. All those things. Yeah. Normally, it won't take this much of time, but there is a Management console. Chrome. Chrome means we are installing or doing the installation. Let's say Chrome taking the much CPU pleasure. So, in case of one more thing you need to remember is in case of installation, in case of installation guard, so failed. Maybe some uh, something is happened, you stopped it here, it got failed. But again, when you fix the test, again when you are restarting, it will it will resume from where it got stopped. Why? Well, because again, if you want to give the you know, starting onwards, again it will take some other time, right? So it's not like that. So when it got failed, you can just resume from where it got failed. Suppose in up to now in this step it got failed. You fix the issue. When you repeat it again, it won't go start. So where it got failed, it will resume from so that level. This is the one of the question sometimes they may ask you. So suppose in the fifty percent installation got failed. In the fifty percent status, the installation got failed. You fix it the issue. When you start the again restart the installation, will it start from the scratch? Start or will it resume from where it got stopped in that case you need to tell like yeah it will resume from where it got stopped means from 50 percent onwards it will continue it will continue So meanwhile, uh, let me inform other batch students to log in a little late. Okay, I informed them to log in a little late but because this may take another so while, so that's the reason. Yes.
Part except three also verified successfully. Expect two. Here we can see it. How many files are there here? So if we go to the here, if we go to the exports. So see here three one two three export files. Right when you download the software zip file, when you extract it, three files will be created here. So kernel, host agent, so exports, native or exports. So it will be the three here. When I go to the ECC, ECC also somewhere it is there. Somewhere ECC, I think this is the ECC. Yes, see here 11 exports for ECC. So this is the ECC 11 exports. Same procedure, only export time. Instead of uh, you choose, instead of you are choosing the uh, native or exports. Same here, that time you need to, if you are installing the ECC, same procedure, but instead of ECC exp native or exports, you need to choose the ECC exports. When you are installing the S4ANA, instead of uh, ECC exports, you need to choose the, so S4ANA exports, you have to choose it. That's it. That is only the difference here. Exports are the difference for each and every SCP installation. Remaining all are the same procedure here. Right, so here you can see DB related files, how many files you want to create it here. So our is a small, then you can go for the small. If it's a medium company, then you can go for the medium. So means database level storage. So you can go for our, whatever you want, you can choose it here. DB level free space, everything it is asking. Then it will go to the some other. So all the software inputs we have given now, right? Kernel, host agent, DB. So all the inputs, exports we have given. So now finally it will ask the instance numbers. DB SID also, sorry, SAP SID also we have given. So now the next one it will ask the so few more things like uh some other uh, normal things it will ask it. Just we need to enter, nothing we have to enter it. Just click on next, 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 that's it. Only these inputs we have to manually give it. Remaining inputs, so I think three or four inputs will come. Though that time, just we can, we have to click the next, 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 that's it. So system, then it will go to the review. We will come, we will come to this review parameter section here.
So above declustering. So here what we can do, so nothing, just click on the next button here. There's no option to select it here as well. So just click on the next button here. That is the decoupling means the tables, the table level. So the table structuring. So it is asking, it is asking, just click on the next button. That's it. So number of parallel jobs by default, it will take the three. Then we can also choose the three. Just click on the next button. That's it. Uh, hi, sir. I just have a question. Yes. Uh, if all the SAP components are like can be installed with uh, SWPM tool itself, yes. and yes. why, like, what is the sum tool used for? The sum, sum tool, tool is for the upgrading the all SAP systems. Only for uh, upgrading and yeah, migration. Yeah, updating, updating. Now, you when you install it, yeah, upgrading, mm -hmm. migrations, all kind of activities you will do. So, SWPM only will install it. After okay. installation, maybe after your OS installation, normally frequently we will get the updates, right? So from SAP, new functionalities, new features. So that time, how can we update it using the SUM tool in the SAP? We will we will do the uh, activities here, SUM tool activities here. Okay. Uh, like with SUM tool, we will not be able to install only upgradation. Yeah, SUM tool is not possible to install only upgrade. Yes, right. Thank yeah. you, sir. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, asking the instance number 0 to 0, 03. It's taken. If you are okay with the same number, we can choose it, right? So, SID, the instance number, so instance number, we have to give the, we have to choose it here. So, here, SAP, two instances will be created here. I will tell you what is mean by instance here. Instance means list of services, list of SAP services are called the instances, right? Here, two instances will be created. One is the pass. Second one is the ASCS instance. Pass means primary application server instance. So, AS means, so uh, ASCS means above systems. I uh, will tell you after the installation what is it mean. So, two instances will be created here. Right? We can just choose by default or if you want to change it, you can change it. Click on the next button. Yeah, you can see SAP INST one host. So SLD is not required. So right, just click on the next button here. So we can choose. So click on the next button here. So key, just next button. So nothing, just it is taken. So those are the non-important things. So just you can click on next, 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 that's it.
then finally then you will get the uh, all the final inputs you will get it out here now it's done all the inputs whatever we have given it's done see here one hour almost one hour it's taken for the inputs only right so then it will comes to the review parameter section review parameter section here so that i will tell you after the installation is completed i will tell you once we log into the system so then we will come to know with the system is for what is this now we are installing now we know based upon the sid we will know this is a network system network development ne something like that we are giving so but installation done by the some other person then but how can we know which one is the ecrm which one is the s corona means after the installation is completed then when after the login to the sap system then you will come to know what is this system is for all the details you will get it out so maybe in the next class you will get the full clarity here which system is this yeah so now you can see summary section here right define parameter section is completed now review parameter section here inputs we have done it here so now starting of the swpm tool we have given the typical sid we have given right passwords right db related details we have given right so kernel files we have given host upgrade and host agent right host agent file database files application server instance numbers so then export files then whatever we have given right so during the installation time sorry during the inputs time so we can review it so something you are missing you need to change it now then there is an option to revise there is an option to revise just to select it then we can revise it here okay everything you have given it is signed so everything is done now just click on the next button now it is in the execute service here you no need to do anything here except cancel button now system will take care of the all the sap system installations and everything system will system will take care of the all the things here right so here so only define parameter section we have to provide the inputs of the all the softwares etc etc we have to provide it here right so then review just review only here nothing here just we can if you ignore it the system for four to five hours system will start doing the system will be built here see here 10 percent completed like that up to 100 percent it will come into the picture here it will say like successfully completed but we don't require because if i start now uh, it will take another five hours you cannot do anything here right i'm cancelling here so you can stop whenever you are practicing give the inputs give the inputs okay. just cancel it review parameter section itself only but because giving the inputs only important suppose if you want to start the installation just so once the inputs everything is given then stop at review parameter section itself only just stop at review parameter section itself only so that uh so that review parameter section it also so that others also will get the installation here so whoever starting just update in the group saying that I am doing the installation so that others won't touch. Other others will take the break or whatever it may be. Others, they won't touch it out here. Right? So this is the way 
we can progress the installations here. Okay. So you can start it, you can utilize it. We have that today, tomorrow, and so the other Saturday, Sunday, all time also we have available. So everybody, so please get hands on on the so how to do the installations, how to start the SWPM tool, all the information you can start it here, right? We have the software available in the F drive. So then you can just go start the SWPM tool, then you can proceed with the installations. Okay. Got it?